Hello guys, Craig Frost here again with my first Juicy Tuts tutorial of 2014. It's been a while actually since I've done a video so I'm feeling a bit rusty here, but bear with me. Today we're going to look at how to install a Windows partition via bootcamp on a Mac. So let's get in here, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible, but if I'm going too fast you can always pause the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do not a lot of people say this, but the first thing you actually want to do is insert a flash drive. So I've done that here. You see I've inserted an empty flash drive. It wants to be empty. You don't want to lose any work. Open up Disk Utility. Select your flash drive. Go onto the Erase tab and format it as MS-DOS FAT. You can name it whatever you want. Leave it untitled is fine. Now this will allow the Windows partition to read your pen drive when we want to install drivers, which is the next stage and it's actually the first stage of boot camp. So you can see it's still a blank flash drive there. So next thing you want to do is open up boot camp assistant and click continue and tick both boxes and it will download the latest Windows support software from Apple, which will allow the Windows partition to use your MacBook the same way the Mac does. So it can talk to your keyboard, your volume controls, your graphics card, um, all these things. It's just the drivers that run your MacBook really which you'd do on a normal Windows build anyway. So you'd download them here and it'll install it to the flash drive. You'll have to put your password in and then it's done. And then just leave your flash drive in, insert your Windows installer disk or flash drive if you're doing it from there and click continue. I'm gonna leave the flash drive in for the whole installation and the actual install disk from now on. So the next screen, once you've inserted your Windows install disk, will be to select the partition size, which is how much hard drive space you want to allocate to Windows. So I'm, I don't need Windows for much here, so I'm just going to give it 28 gigs. Um, I'll probably uninstall it in a bit. So you'll click install, it will start to partition the hard drive um, first, and then it will install Windows onto that partition. So if you get any prompts, just click continue. Bootcamp knows what it's doing, so just let it do its stuff. So I've switched to the external camera here rather than the screen recorder because after this stage, um, Bootcamp will in fact restart my computer, so it'll stop my screen recording. So I'm using the external camera here, so sorry you can't see as well, but the rest of the tutorial will be like this. I'm sorry about that. So here we go, it's going to partition the disk and the speed of this will vary on what hard drive you're using. I'm using an SSD, it didn't take too long. So the computer is now going to restart and then boot into the Windows installation, which is what we want. So really from this point onwards, it's going to become just like installing Windows on a normal PC. So if you know what you're doing from this stage onwards, you're going to want to just skip to the end of the video because there's an extra bit that you wouldn't do on a normal PC, which is install the bootcamp drivers. But if you're going to stick with me, we're going to go through the Windows installation, shouldn't take too long and then we'll get to installing those drivers which are really easy anyway because we've left the flash drive in. So here we go, we're now booted into the Windows setup. You can see the mouse is a bit big, text is a bit big and blurry. That's because the drivers for my screen aren't installed yet so the resolution is a bit messed up. So here we go, we're going to install Windows 7 Ultimate. So I'm going to select English as my language to install. The time and currency format is actually going to be Windows United Kingdom because that's that's where I am and we'll leave the keyboard input method to United Kingdom. I want to install the 64-bit version of Windows 7 Ultimate instead of the 32-bit which is um, times 64 believe it or not for 64-bit or times 86 for 32-bit it's a bit weird. Accept the license terms you should read all that um, you need to know what the terms are. Now this is the next important bit it's going to ask you what disk you want to install Windows on. Now select your boot camp partition it's got big capital letters there you're going to click that and the advanced drive options and then click format. This will erase whatever drive you have, so make sure it's an empty partition, which is the bootcamp one we just created. So click OK. Bootcamp will now disappear, so remember what partition it is. It's normally the bottom one. And then click next. And now it's going to install Windows. This can take some time depending on your disk speed, your hard drive speed, your new general computer. Um, but just let it do its thing, it can hang for some time, but don't worry, it will finish it. Make sure, by the way, throughout this whole install process, if you're using a MacBook like this, that you have it plugged in, you don't want to risk your battery running out. Now it's going to restart the computer again, it's going to do this a few times throughout the install, um, because Windows needs to restart. 
install bits. So now it's going to restart back into Windows and then we can continue our setup. Um, so here it goes. We should see the Windows logo any moment now. Starting Windows. Never thought I'd see that on my Mac, but there we go. Starting Windows, bam, nice Windows icon. And now it's going to set up um, some extra settings to do with my install. Setup is preparing your computer and video performance, but it still won't correct the resolution yet because we haven't installed the driver. So now you're going to set up your account on the computer. So you're going to give your computer a name, then it'll go through your account and ask you to insert your password and all this stuff. I'm sure you all know how to do this because this is what you do from when you first turn on your computer and um, when you buy one. So I'm going to use recommended settings here. I'm going to choose my time and date zone, which is where it actually is. And then it's going to finalize your settings. And here we go. Welcome. Now the next bit is the bootcamp installer. This is the bit you need to do. So you're going to go through here. It will prompt you in a wizard. So that's fine. This is going to install all the Apple drivers for your hardware so Windows can use it. So this will be your, like I said, your graphics card, your display brightness controls, your volume. Pardon me. You <laughs> don't want to do that in the tutorial. Your volume controls, your keyboard, your Wi-Fi card, all this stuff. This can take some time as well, but when you done click finish, and I believe it's going to want to restart when I do this. Yes, here it goes. It's going to restart one more time. So I know you don't want to see my computer restart, so I'm going to I'll cut this out this time. So we'll come back to on the login screen. So here we are on the login screen. I'm going to enter my password and then you're going to log in to Windows and that is it. You're now running your Windows installation on your Mac. But there's one more thing you might want to do, and that is to go to control panel and because you've installed the bootcamp software, you're going to have a bootcamp option inside your control panel. And in there, you can choose which disk to be your default startup disk. So at the moment, it will boot into Windows every time you turn your Mac on. I don't want that. I want to choose when I go into Windows. So I'm going to choose to default to my Macintosh SSD with OS X on it. So I'll click that. And every time I want to install, um, open into Windows, I'll start up my Mac and hold the Alt or Option key down and then just select the Windows partition and that is how you boot into Windows. So thanks for watching. I hope this is useful for you. I feel a bit exhausted going through this, but um, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching, hope it helped and I'll see you again next time. Bye.